Now, I see you brought some samples in again. I did. We, we talked earlier about the type of glasses that were issued <laughs> in our younger days. Um, it's changed a lot. Uh, roughly, how many... How many different styles of glasses are there so, to choose from? you know, from? I had to take these from the clinic. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what I was taking, they didn't have available for mm -hmm. the patients they were seeing. So they only would let me take a handful. There's prob We probably have about 75 frames. Mm -hmm. And of those frames, you know, they're probably um, evenly split in terms of what some people would consider more you know, masculine mm -hmm. or feminine. There's certainly a lot of frames, a lot of the um, uh, wire rim frames that are more gender neutral. Mm -hmm. We have a few frames. A lot of the metal frames have nickel in them. Mm -hmm. So for people who have a nickel allergy, yeah. we have a few titanium frames. And so, you know, obviously either plastic or a titanium frame would be a better choice for them so that they don't get the discoloration that they sure. would get from a nickel allergy as well as sometimes some people will get a rash from it. So, you know, there's a good range of frames in terms of plastic mm -hmm. as well as metal. Let's hold um, up a couple. Let's just... Uh, all right. Well, some, you know, um, you know, this is a nice Al uh, Roker blue. Maybe not as bright as right. what he uses for the weather. Um, you know, you uh, had mentioned the old uh, yes. unattractive black <laughs> ones, but this type of black right. uh, frame is really more in style. Yes, it is. Um, and, you know, depending if you're going to, you know, we have some frames that are a little bit bigger that sometimes we'll recommend for a sunglass because mm -hmm. obviously you probably want something a little bit bigger with bigger yep. um, coverage. coverage. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, people have a very high prescription and they want to pick a very big frame and we might caution them that, you know, the higher the prescription and the bigger the frame, the thicker the lens yeah. and that aesthetically they might not like the result or the frame. Well, the same thing with a thinner frame. I, I like mine thinner mm -hmm. and my prescription doesn't always allow. I've had them tell me certain times that, ah, oh, you're not going to be able to wear that type of glasses because... The way your glass, you know, the the uh, the lenses won't fit there the, the right uh, way. I won't get the right absolutely. Even viewing. though even though we do offer a high index lens material, you know, if somebody's prescription is high enough, even with that high index material, which is a, a material that's going to be thinner mm -hmm. um, for a high prescription, it still may not be. You know, we we see them after they're made and we right. see people come back and they're very disappointed. And, of course, that's not what we want. Right. Um, and, you know, we'll say, well, you know, that's what it's going to look like in that particular frame. Our suggestion is, you know, going to a smaller frame or a different shape frame in order to. So, again, we're going to try to lead you to the best possible mm -hmm. outcome. Uh, for your face, for your style of, of frame, for your lenses right. that meet the needs and, and still look aesthetically right for you. Um, I mean, we, no, nobody wants to wear unattractive glasses. Correct. We We are in full agreement and understand <laughs> and appreciate that. Um, and oftentimes, you know, patients will come back and they'll, they'll walk up and down the hall. Do you think these look good on me? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not get a firsthand comment from somebody? Sure. Exactly. Sure. Exactly. And uh, and we have some excellent uh, opticians who will who also work with the, the veterans once they're in the optical department, you know, giving them some guidance. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, you know, we will, you know, speak with the optician and say, you know, they're, they're thinking of this or, you mm -hmm. know, we're, I'm concerned about this. And, you know, I want you to discuss with them and further, you know, the pros and cons. Mm -hmm. They're getting their first time progressive wear. Sure. They're going to need some education mm -hmm. um, or, you know, the person works in some type of construction trade, we're going to say it needs to be safety lens material, polycarbonate, Trivex, you know, something that's shatter resistant for maximal pr protection. And so, and, and you've you just talked about that. Optometry is doing one thing. The optician is like a separate spot, right? Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. Uh, part of the VA? Are they a vendor or? So it varies from site to site. Mm -hmm. Some VAs have their own opticians that are VA employees. Mm -hmm. uh, at my site in central western Massachusetts, uh, we have a contract vendor. 
okay. um, who um, will provide the fitting services and you know the frames are the frames of the company for which they work for, but they're taking direction from the VA eye care mm -hmm. provider in terms of what that VA eye care provider is recommending for the patient. I see. Um, but oftentimes, you know, we will also sometimes solicit their opinion. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, you know what your company makes. How, how do you think this is going right. to look or do you recommend something else? So right. obviously we value their input as well awesome. because they're the subject matter expert, you know, in terms of the, the frame line and the materials yeah. they carry. Yeah. And we also have metal frames, I see. Mm -hmm. We do. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, like to sleep in them. That, you know, <laughs> we <laughs> so, do also have the Frex, yes. the Flex ones. We do have some rimless ones, yep. okay? And when you go with a semi-rimless or uh, a rimless frame, the lens material does have to be shatter resistant. Okay. So now oh. it has to be polycarbonate mm -hmm. or Trivex because you don't have the support of the lower part of the frame on it. So, huh. uh, and then this would also be the recommendation of going with anti-glare coating so you don't get the reflection off the bottom right. of the lens. Um, so, okay. you know, there's there's a, a little bit that can sometimes go into what choice the person picks mm -hmm. in terms of what we might recommend mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. And again, you know, you set up the 75 different pairs to choose from, depending male and females or, or whoever is picking their glasses out. Mm -hmm. um, what about, um, Nowadays, everybody's on their phone, on their computer screen. Do we offer anything? Uh, like a blue blocker? Yes. So, not really. Okay. Okay. You know, a lot of the lens materials, if you go with polycarbonate, they have UV coating automatically mm -hmm. put into it. Um, but, you know, in terms of something specifically like a blue blocker, we do not. Okay. Okay. It's good to know. Uh, sunglasses. Yes. We offer sunglasses? We do. We offer sunglasses. Not just for fun. Not just for okay. fun. Um, and we do have a couple of different, you know, colors in terms of gray or brown. And so sometimes we'll ask people, you know, do you have a preference? You know, sometimes it might be based on what frame they're picking, mm -hmm. you know, what color they may choose. Um, we also do offer um, the photochromic or transition lenses yeah. that lighten and darken, which a lot of people like, um, you know, for an active lifestyle. Um, the only drawback to them is that there is a chemical in the lens that's activated to turn the lens dark from a UV light mm -hmm. source. So that direct sunlight does need to hit them yes. for them to darken. So for somebody who wants them for driving, mm -hmm. we'll often tell them that this is not a good choice yeah. because they're not going to get very dark in the car. Right. But they're great if you're out on the golf right. course or just And that's out because and your car is already... Got the UV filter. Got the filter. protection on it, so you're not getting anything into the glasses to make them change. They'll change a little bit from yeah. your side windows, but your windshield yeah. has a UV filter yeah. in it, so they're not going to get as dark as they would get when you're outside. And it's funny because a lot of people come back and they'll say, oh, I had these five years, and then one lens stayed dark and one lens stayed light, and that's because the chemical gets used up over time, oh, wow. and they they can phase out at different points where one is dark and one is light. So The free VA New England mobile app is empowering those who served our country like never before. Access up-to-date information on benefits, health care, home loans, and more. Search VA New England in your app store today and access the benefits you've earned and deserve.